we use off-grid power for everything here at Big Sky Off-Grid. Our solar power provides the majority of our power during these beautiful but hot summer days. Uh, we need a better way to store more of this power and we are very excited to work with Power Queen. Uh, hopefully we will be able to utilize more of the sun and uh, avoid some of our generator use. So we have been lacking uh, power around the cabin lately. It's just been a lot between running uh, either fan for ventilation, trying to cool down the cabin, or trying to run an air conditioner, freezer, refrigerator, all of these things are drawing a tremendous amount of power whenever it's hot like this. So we were pretty excited when Power Queen reached out and asked if we want to test out one of their batteries. Uh, I've been looking forward to building like an actual off-grid power system that's built into a house instead of just running our portable power stations. So this was a very exciting opportunity for us. Uh, we will be testing out their 12 volt 100 amp battery and we'll let you know how it goes. With a lot of lithium batteries, uh, they have a very long lifetime and these are actually pretty extended. These are, have a, a 10 year lifetime with 4,000 charge cycles. So that's pretty significant. That's essentially charging uh, once a day for 10 years. So um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how these perform over an extended amount of time. Lithium is definitely the newer technology in uh, uh, you know, lead acid, sealed batteries, AGM batteries, all of those um, are the older types of technologies and kind of proven, but lithium you typically get more wattage and more recharge cycles for your money and these are an excellent value one of the things i really like about these batteries and i'm glad we tested out the 100 amp hour is that they're not that heavy this is a 22 pound battery um, a lot of people can move these around they have up to uh, over 400 amp hour batteries so potentially four times this size but that's also four times the weight if you don't feel like lifting that much or if you're going upstairs like we are with these batteries going with a smaller set of or smaller size battery and potentially buying more of them and connecting them all together might cost a little bit more in the long run but might be easier for maintenance or just easier on your back so check out ipowerqueen.com or amazon if you would like to see any more of these batteries with this <clears throat> sponsorship helps support our channel uh, purchasing batteries with our affiliate links help support our channel uh, we pr really appreciate our viewers watching this and if you guys are interested in batteries i would highly suggest checking out power queen yeah so we should be able to get almost 1300 watts out of these batteries which is just fantastic gotta say that the owner's manual on that is fantastic and Casey is going to love this. They give you a whole sheet of stickers. Really? I got her attention. Yeah, that's why I forgot to ask. I was like, hey, y'all should send a t-shirt. My wife will wear it all the time. Uh, this is their low temp version, which happens to cut off charging at a temperature of 32 degrees Fahrenheit and it will not resume charging until above 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so we have a charge controller and inverter that we'll be hooking up to this and getting it charged. And then we will test out a number of things, including you know, can it run different appliances around here? Uh, can it run, how long can it run the house for? And uh, just a few other fun things to test out with these batteries. So these batteries are also capable of running like trolling motors on boats. Um, and because it's lithium, it's uh, a lot better performance than what you get out of lead acid or AGMs. These batteries are made with grade A cells. They should be able to last 10 years and be recharged at least 4,000 times. These have an upgraded battery management system. They can produce a surge amperage of up to 300 amps. So these batteries have a low temp cutoff protection built into them as part of the battery management system. If you reach below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, they will stop charging. And until you reach 41 degrees Fahrenheit, they will not charge. So uh, it takes it a little bit of warmth to start charging again. 
if you go below negative four degrees Fahrenheit, they will not discharge, meaning you won't be able to pull power out of them. Um, just something to keep in mind as far as like where you plan on storing these and operating them or putting them upstairs where they'll be a little bit warmer than they would downstairs. So I just want to verify that this is going to work on the post that they provide. <laughs> it's going to work just perfect. That uh, worked quite well. So this end is going to go to the charge controller and then we'll also have the same set of wires that will go to the inverter which I need to grab from the inside. Okay, so I'm going to hook this up to the charge controller. Um, this is going to go into the battery positive lead and I'm still not entirely sure how these clamps work. I think you have to kind of unscrew them all the way. It opens the clamp, you insert the wire and then uh, tighten the screw down. That should tighten the clamp down. This is about the largest size wire you could fit in this. Well, that's a pretty solid connection. Should give me enough lead length to get to the battery. Okay, so I've got the inverter down here. I'm gonna mount the charge controller up here. This kind of gives me a little room for expansion. I could put another inverter down here and potentially up here and then have at least one more charge controller. The battery will probably be mat off to the side where I'll just put it under here. Um, but these leads should be plenty long to get to the battery. The only thing I got left to hook up is where the panels come in right there. So positive and negative from the panels. And then I would like to hook up my AC connection. And I'll probably just take an extension cord and wire that in there. So with this battery system, we'll be able to add additional batteries as we please. You just take one and add it so that uh, it's increasing the amperage or increasing the voltage depending on your system for us we would want to maintain 12 volts and just increase amperage so that would work pretty well especially with this large inverter that we have we'll probably expand this later on i also added a smoke detector just in case so this test has been quite successful we are charging our power station with this battery and inverter right now it is being charged with solar panels down by the road and it's working quite well we're pulling 800 watts off of it that's about the max i want to use with those battery cables i need to upsize them to a much larger size so we can pull more amperage through them but overall it's working quite well so i've always wanted to be able to use a sous vide cooker completely off of solar power and we got a pretty good charge today so i think we're going to be able to we're going to sous vide this pork loin and then we're going to smoke it for a couple hours hopefully exclusively off the power queen battery if we need to i've got some other power we can use but we're going to use the power queen battery to start with Okay, we have our pork line, let's head outside. We decided to go from a four gauge copper wire to a one slash zero or one aught uh, copper wire. This new wire should be stronger and more capable of higher amp rating, which is what we need. Uh, this four gauge is capable of about 70 amps max and I wanna be able to pull the full 100 amps, so that's why we're upsizing the wire. I went ahead and warmed up water on the stove just to make this process a little more efficient. I need to add a little more. So we just need enough water to cover everything. I 
That should do the trick. Set it to 145. And we will check back with that later. Alright, these are ready to go on the smoker. Alright, we'll let those cook for about two hours on the smoker. So this method of cooking is just a little bit different than what most people have seen. Putting meat inside a vacuum sealed bag and then putting it in the water bath. Uh, seems a little unconventional and it, it can be, but it does do a great job cooking most meat. Um, this is one of the best ways we found to cook wild game as well as steak because you get very precise temperature. Uh, I've cooked pork this way for years. Um, you can even use use it for like fish and shrimp. Pretty good. If y'all like this video, please leave us a like. If you have any comments or questions, please leave us a comment. If you'd like to see more of this content, please subscribe. We will have a whole lot more solar projects coming up this summer. Thanks again to Power Queen for sponsoring this video. If you guys have any interest in lithium batteries, chargers, or inverters, Power Queen sells 12 volt to 48 volt batteries, uh, all the way from 50 amps to 410 amps. If you guys are interested in any of these products, go to ipowerqueen.com with our affiliate link. That will let them know that we sent you and help reward our channel. Thanks again for watching and uh, have a great day.